Hey, what's up guys? So welcome to this video. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, in this video, I want to talk fuel additives, specifically for diesel trucks, whether you're a Ram owner, a Duramax, uh, well, shall I say Cummins, Duramax, Power Stroke, modern day diesels could utilize fuel additives uh, in any every platform, whether that's stock or tuned, deleted, it does not matter. I bought uh, actually three. Uh, one I'm using right now is the Hot Shots EDT. Um, I use this every fill up, one to two ounces. Uh, I recently bought this XPD. This is from OptiLube, from a lot of forums and research. Uh, this is their flagship, more so line of fuel additive. So I wanted to bring OptiLube on board. And if you're a Ford OEM, uh, manufacturer only buyer. I have the Ford Motorcraft stuff. Uh, this is actually their Satane Booster and Performance Improver uh, PM 22 A. Uh, and this actually came directly out of the owner's manual with what stuff Ford recommends for our trucks. So, just a little background about these fuel additives ULSD that you see on all uh, fuel nozzles when you're going to the fuel stations in 2006 to bring down the parts per million from 30 to 15 of sulfur. So I do have a list of notes of why you would want to use a fuel additive. I do want to say that there's uh, many out there that don't use fuel additives that seem to be doing all right with their systems. But again, let me go through the reasons why you do want to use a fuel additive right after I mentioned about this diesel extreme. So this is a product through Hot Shots Diesel. Uh, I use this every 6,000 miles from what they, they recommend. It says use eight ounces of diesel extreme per 20 gallons of diesel fuel. Add during fuel up and run every 6,000 miles for best results. It boosts attain up to seven points. Reduces need for DPF regeneration cycles up to 50%. That's bullshit. Uh, cleans cylinders, fuel lines, tank, and disperses moisture and increases mileage and diesel fuel lubricity. Cleans injector tips. Eliminates black smoke. So I do believe this has serves a great purpose. I use this every 6,000 miles. And really the purpose of this video is to really inform everyone about these fuel additives. As we transition from winter fuel and the winter weather to the hot summer uh, fuel blends that we're starting to now seeing. All right, so let's get into the points of why you should run diesel fuel additives in your truck. So the first point is gonna be that it lubricates the fuel injection system. Uh, ULSD is an essential requirement of the newer emissions uh, regulations, but unfortunately one of the results of the hydro desulfurization HDS process, process is the diesel fuel loses that inherent lubricity. And so this is why a lot of people actually choose to run fuel additives for that added lubricity within the, the entire fuel system. So a certain amount of fuel lubricity is essential to help prevent wear and failure to engine components. If the fuel's lubricity is too low, improper lubrication will shorten the service life of fuel injectors and high pressure pumps. So second point would be cleans the fuel system. So within these fuel additives, they're actually detergents. Um, and it mentions specifically formulated detergent to help soften and remove hard deposit buildup that accumulates over time. Every fuel tank, whether you're changing fuel stations, decarbonization also helps repair common drivability issues such as engine hesitation, hard starts and rough idling. Uh, removing the excess carbon will help to restore your diesel's performance and improve fuel efficiency. So for the most part, your fuel additives will barely touch into the fuel um, miles per gallon improvements, but you're not really specifically buying it for the miles per gallon because really if you take in hand the amount per each ounce or the amount that uh, each tank of fuel requires, uh, I'm not sure if you save as much with the amount that you're actually putting into the truck with each tank of fuel. Um, but again, you're doing it for these multiple reasons that I'm going through with you right now. Uh, next point is going to be the cetane increase. So diesel engines generally operate with cetane number from 40 to 55. Diesel fuel in North America typically only have a CN 
rating of 40 to 45. The cetane number is oftentimes lower than diesel fuels from other regions in the world. Today's diesel engines run at optimum efficiency with a cetane value of 48 plus. So if most of our fuel that we're receiving from our fuel station, most of the time it's gonna to be to the value of 40 to 45 CN. So boosting the cetane number can result in an increase in horsepower, reducing emissions, if you care about that, faster startups, and smoother idling and acceleration. Next point is reduces exhaust smoke and improves fuel economy. So the notes that I gathered from this was that the cetane number is a measure of combustion efficiency. So therefore, the higher the number, the better potential for every droplet of fuel that is sprayed into the combustion chamber to burn and produce power. And so the next point that uh, fuel additives provide is that it disperses water. Now this is a big ticket item, one big point that you would wanna keep in mind. Um, if anything, water destroys modern day fuel system pressure pumps. Whether you have a CP3 or CP4, if you get water into that system and the CP4 not only needs to be replaced, but everything needs to be flushed out, uh, fuel filters replaced, the whole shebang uh, costs to, I don't know, roughly five to seven grand in, in changes. Now, this is not meant to scare any one of y'all because there's many trucks out there that have more than probably 400, 500,000 miles uh, that are still working off of their stock CP3, CP4 systems. Uh, for the most part, in our four power strokes, uh, it is a weak point. The CP4 systems, once it gets a drop of water or a tad bit of water through the fuel water separator and into the fuel system uh, to the pump, it is more so likely to destroy your fuel system and uh, drop power. You're gonna have to get into the dealer or service shop for a full fuel system service. Water in the diesel fuel damages injectors most effective combination of ingredients to absorb water from fuel the unique solution prevents damage wear and premature fuel pump failure uh, antioxidants and corrosion inhibitors are also added to help prevent rust and corrosion from forming all right last two points cheap insurance and uh, it also prevents formation of algae and bacteria. So with the ULSD, ultra low sulfur diesel, fuels attract more water and are less resistant to microbes than the higher sulfur diesel fuels that were offered prior to 2006. So the storage of diesel fuel for longer periods of time also makes it more susceptible to contamination by microorganisms uh, like bacteria and fungus. So there you go. Those are the points of why you would want to run a fuel additive. Now I do want to get into the specific fuel additives that I've bought that I would uh, recommend in your trucks today. So I am actually running Hotshots EDT diesel. I'll go ahead and we'll actually need this piece of paper. I wrote down the costs of what you're gonna have to actually pay per ounce within each one of these fuel additives. So within the EDT Hotshots uh, Everyday Diesel Treatment, 16 ounces in here, and every one of these, I'll provide a link in the description below. I like buying more so in those bigger sizes because I use it every fill up. So it's a little cheaper for me to buy uh, in bigger bulk, shall we say, than in these. Uh, you find a lot of great recommendations on the EDT. Most use one ounce for every fuel tank, uh, but you can use two ounces for every 25 gallons. There's a lot of recommendations on this EDT stuff. Uh, the price per ounce is 94 cents per ounce. All right, so this moves us to, let me go ahead and cover the Ford Power Stroke Motorcraft Satain Booster and Performance Improver. All right, so this is the factory stuff that Motorcraft makes and recommends for Power Stroke owners. Directions for this is uh, use four ounces uh, per 25 US gallons of diesel fuel. EDT recommends one to two ounces. To, you know, to actually feel a difference, you're gonna have to do at least two ounces for this EDT. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your price comparison, uh, cost of benefit analysis. So the price per ounce for this is $1.25. Honestly, I've never tried this, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, so this brings me to the actual OptiLube XPD all-in-one diesel fuel additive. So in this configuration, it gives you six small bottles of eight ounces uh, each. It treats up to 32 ounces for each little bottle. 
Uh, the reason why I like this system is because it's very easy to fill up at the fuel station, whether you carry your funnel around with some paper towels, um, you take some bottles like these, very easy to transport, throw one in, throw it away, good to go. Definitely applaud EDT for doing this. You fill up that nozzle, there's your one ounce, pour it in, good to go. Very clean. Motocraft, they're gonna have to step up their game and uh, get a little more bougie. Actually never used this as well, but I am definitely looking forward to it because every everything that I've read online is mentioning that this stuff is uh, it's some good shit. Helps fuel flow down to negative 10 degrees, improved fuel economy, improved storage stability, prevents rust and corrosion, reduced deposits and emissions, satain improved by three points. Uh, I like how they're being transparent about that, only three points. Uh, Biodiesel compatible, contains no harmful alcohols, improved water separation. All right, camera died, so let's get back on track. So it acts as a demulsifier, uh, enhanced lubricity for reduced fuel system wear and incompatible for all emission systems. And so each one of these is eight ounces, treats up to 32 gallons. Uh, my tank here, and like many other crew cab short bed, uh, if you're driving a power stroke, is gonna have about 34 gallons, uh, I believe if I remember correctly. So this one, definitely looking forward to using OptiLube. Uh, probably top of the line, top shelf stuff right here based on my research. So guys, that's pretty much it. Please like, subscribe if you're not, comment if you have any questions, uh, if you have any other recommendations. Re OptiLube users out there, really interested in what you have to say. Uh, you know, Ford stuff, EDT, majority of commenters are gonna be hot shots or die. Hey, just trying to put out there what kind of fuel additives do for your truck in our modern day diesels. If you have any questions, again, let me know down below. Uh, links are in the description below as well. Again, if you're fond of one item, feel free to buy a larger in bulk so that the price per ounce is going to be cheaper for you. Uh, but until next time, see ya.